Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan and we are here at my house at my ping pong table converted into my workspace and lab bench. And so I brought uh, all this stuff home so I can do the pipetter accuracy experiment for you guys. I made sure I cleaned everything off well with ethanol so that I wouldn't bring any nastiness to my house. So I'm not going to have to use uh, like um, gloves or anything uh, because everything has been pretty much cleaned. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just collect measurements and show you how to do it. I'm not going to show you every repetition, but I'll just kind of show you the process and then you can see how that we do uh, testing uh, for these pipetters. Um, and so I have my uh, lab notebook all set up and ready. Uh, I'm, instead of it just being me, I'm going to go ahead and do me and my kids uh, to see um, and collect data from them for the pipetters. And so I can, I have already have the lab notebook set up to write down all the data. So without further ado, we can go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put this beaker in to the scale. Okay. And we're going to set the, the weight to zero. So we've teared the weight uh, and now we're ready to go ahead and it looks like my cat is going to come help too. She is always very thrilled about doing stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just add the 1,000 microliters of water using the 1,000 microliter pipetter. All right, so take that measurement and I'd type it in. Tear it. And we do this again. Okay, so I've done all my measurements with this. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the pipette tip uh, and go down to 200 microliters to keep proceeding on this experiment. Okay, so I already have this one set at 20, so I'm just going to start with the 200 microliter measuring 20. And I saved the serological pipette for last. It's a little bit different. So I'm just going to open this thing out. And we're just going to try our best to get one milliliter um, just by looking at it. So it's a little bit more of a challenge. Probably better if I slow down the speed. So I'm done with my trials and now it's just a matter of me getting all my kids to do it and then I'll collect the data, send the data to you guys for you to analyze and do some statistics on. Uh, and that will be the fun part is answering some questions about these pipetters based on uh, the measurements we made. And so when you're doing this, some of the questions you're thinking of, do I trust this thing, right? Do I, would I take this one or would I go find one that I think works better? Right? That's, some of the basic questions we're trying to answer by collecting this data.